Hey YouTube, it's Archangel, and I just received my uh, order from Bulk Reef Supply, and here it is. Um, you can see I ordered my Fosban reactor, 150. I also ordered uh, RX activated carbon, the GFO from Bulk Reef Supply, and a MaxiJet 400 to power the Fosban reactor. So let me get all this stuff unpacked, hook everything up, and I'll uh, show you how I set it up on my sump. So I'll be right back. Okay, what I've done was uh, I've unpacked the uh, Fosban reactor right here. I've got my uh, half inch tubing that I had laying around my house, and I've unpacked my MaxiJet uh, 400 pump that I'm going to use for the reactor. Also, I have right here is uh, the bulk reef supply uh, GFO. So let's go through the process of uh, getting this installed in the stand. Alright, the first thing that we want to consider uh, when hooking up our uh, Fosban reactor is where we're going to put our uh, pump to feed it. Uh, the great thing about the MaxiJet is that it comes with a variety of ways to mount it. It comes first with this easy, basically slide on the edge of the glass um, attachment, a tri suction cup uh, mount, and this one will most likely be used if you want to set it up as uh, a power head, but we're not really going to be using this one. Uh, the way that I'm going to use is this one right here. I'll stick it on the side of the uh, the MaxiJet powerhead, and I'm going to put it inside the refugium section, probably near um, near the protein skimmer. Now that the pump is in its place, it's time to hook up the reactor. You're probably wondering where is this reactor going to go in my stand? It looks like there's no room, but there actually is, and it's going to sit right here. Okay. Uh, the first thing to do is we're going to cut the tubing to length so that way it can reach the reactor. And once the tubing's cut, we need to make a second cut to install our ball valve so that way we can uh, control the amount of flow going into the reactor. Okay, so let's cut the tube. I'll be right back. Now that the ball valve is installed, um, prior to entering the uh, reactor. What I've gone ahead and done is I've added the phosphate media, the GFO, inside and one little tip is that I put a piece of tape in there so that no media gets uh, stuck down in the tube. I'm not too sure if it uh, really does anything but just as a precaution to stop any media, media from getting down in there. So what I'll do is I'll take that piece of tape off now. I've gone ahead and filled up two soup containers of RO water and the reason for doing this is we're going to fill up our reactor with just RO water first um, because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to flush it out for all the dust and fines prior prior to uh, it actually working in our system and just so we don't drive our auto top off crazy prior to turning the pump on alright so let's get this hooked up and I'll come right back once it's uh, all settled in now that the reactor is plumbed to the MaxiJet powerhead, I've gone ahead and turned the ball valve a quarter turn so that way I can reduce the flow rate going into the reactor. Um, I'll adjust that some more once the pump is actually plugged in. A uh, quick tip for you guys as well is the little hose barbs that connect to the elbows at the top of the reactor come off. So to make plumbing this a lot easier, take um, a little hose barb off of the elbow, hook it up to your tubing, and then plug it back into the reactor. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now, plug this back in here, and take the outlet tube and put it into my bucket that I have right here. We'll go ahead now, uh, plug in the pump, so that way we can flush out the fines and tune uh, the reactor in. Ok, 
Okay, so what's going on now is that it's actually filling up. You can kind of see that the media is kind of rising, getting all those bubbles out, sinking back down. And I don't want it to tumble so much, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the ball valve. So you can kind of see now it's dropping back down. What we're doing here is we're just going to flush all the fines out of the reactor. We don't want it going back into the system. So that's the purpose of our bucket right here, which you can see all the fines coming out. We're going to let our uh, power head continue to pump the water into our bucket until uh, we see the water is starting to come out clear out of uh, the tubing. So we're just adjusting it a little more. Water looks pretty clear to me. You can see that it's kind of tumbling in there. Water's no longer coming out a rust color, and we can put our return line back into the system. So I'm just going to unplug it for now. And that's it. All I've done now is I've cut the uh, return tubing to length, to the length I wanted, and the reactor is working. I'll give you a nice close-up view of the media tumbling in here. Nothing drastic, you don't you just want the surface to be moving gently, not so that the media uh, rises up to the top. That's not what you want. Uh, what I'll do when I get some time is I'll organize this wire right here. So it's just not hanging right there to show you that it does fit inside the stand. So, in case you're run, wondering if the uh, doors were going to be able to close, there you go. Now you know. The doors can close, which is perfect. Um, so now, you guys know I've been having a slight algae problem in my tank. I've taken uh, one of the necessary steps to combat that algae. Uh, hopefully, soon, uh, it'll be gone and now I won't have an algae problem any longer. So the next step, the last step, is to uh, clean up over here. Put all these parts away. Alright. And uh, dump out the, uh, the water that we flushed out. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to uh, post a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this project. Okay, so I showed you one way to set up this reactor using a MaxiJet 400 powerhead. But the way that I'm going to run it is using a High Door Pico 400, which is right down here. This pump is awesome because it uses uh, less electricity, it puts out about a 100 gallons per hour, and you're able to hook up the half inch tubing needed to run the reactor. So this pump, um, for, all, for this purpose, is perfect because it's super quiet and it runs the reactor perfectly. It allows the media in here to just tumble perfectly while still having to reduce the flow over here on the flow control. Um, the reason I took out the Maxi Jet 400 is because it is too powerful for this application. Um, let's say it would, it would be more suited for the reactor being uh, probably placed somewhere higher up in your tank where you have to pump the water up to get to the reactor. Um, that way you can lose some head pressure over there and make the media tumble nice and easily. Um, also that, another way that you could tell that it's too powerful is that when you adjust the flow control over here, um, you're restricting the flow so much that the pump starts to become uh, really noisy. So that's another reason I went with the, the Hydro Pico because one, it's not pumping very far. It's only going from here to the reactor and then out. And um, 
the Pico has more than enough power to just keep the media in here tumbling. Alright guys, so that's that's it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please post them in the uh, comment section below. This is going to be Archangel signing out.